For an inverted row ISO hold, you're going to be doing an inverted row, but just holding that position for as long as you can. It's kind of similar to doing like a chin up ISO hold, just in a horizontal vector. So I have a barbell on J-hooks. If you don't have that available to you, you can always use a Smith machine, or if you don't even have that, you only have, have household furniture. Um, as long as you have like a super heavy, stable table, you could use something like that, um, or any kind of other things around the house. If you have like a, a, um, a broom handle that you can put between two chairs, as long as those chairs are stable, you could do the exact same thing. So something that's about two and a half to three feet off of the ground, so you can hold yourself up to it. If you're not strong enough to do this, you could also lower the height and just barely lift yourself up. So from here, I'm going to place my chest directly underneath the bar, take my heels in, pull up to the bar, and from here, I'm squeezing my elbows back, squeezing my shoulder blades together, and trying to hold for as long as possible. So once you get up and hold for as long as possible, like once your chest moves away from the bar, then that no longer counts as you being holding the position. So if you start to move away, go ahead and cut off the exercise.